Hello everyone, it is Dirky Dirk here, and boy, I actually do enjoy this mayhem madness. Uh, I'm kind of late to the game, so I'm kind of sorry about that. But we had that cool special mission where you gotta cap the base 60 times, get this amazing <laughs> look at that man, spent shells, texture, and paint. That's pretty cool. And I'm up to gold, so now I got this pretty nice camo. I kind of like it. I don't have any camo. And I'm kind of going for the soul duck. I might not make it. There's just a few more days. I'm so sorry I didn't get this video out because I actually do enjoy it. And I figured it out. Thanks to my friend, Dangerously Incompetent, who I think were kind of eye to eye on most things. So here's what I figured out. You got to have the scout. It's just what you do. Scout is a really good vehicle. It is light. You say, oh, it has low HP, but then again, it's the one that doesn't have any explodies. Auto cannons, I'm getting the hang of it. Because I'm telling you, the other ones don't really do a lot of damage either. Mortar Man is so squishy. You've got ammo packs everywhere and you have fuel right in the middle. And I just shoot the cab with the scout and it explodes. I don't do Mortar Man anymore. Tank Man, I thought I was getting used to. And next to my friend, Dangerous and Competent, he realized that the ammo boxes are in the back. You just hit the back, boom, they explode. And now I'm killing them with the scout. The sniper... It's just a bad, it's just a bad vehicle. I don't know why people do it. It's really slow, you can't turn, and you just get shot from behind. The ammo boxes are in the front, so it's a little harder to shoot without getting hit in the face, but that Typhoon, I'm telling you, has gotta be nerfed. It takes a lot of hits to kill a scout. Cannoneer is good for your team. If you have one of them, they're not gonna get you the points. So here's why I learned to chill out and love this game, because it's not about winning. Unless you have that one seasonal thing, you gotta win 10 brawls. That's actually not too bad to manage. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you win, guys. It doesn't matter what your team does. It doesn't matter if they suck. Basically, you have t you have A and you have B. So, your, so in my base is B. That's easy to protect. C is the one that we all kind of share. So that's a little bit tricky to get, but as this, I don't really care anymore. It's just about getting points. How to get points? Kills? Not really, not quite. See, I'm just noping out of there. Too many guys. I'm okay with that. So you kept the bases, and when you kept the bases, you're getting points. And also when they, your, your whole team gets a bonus for having cats. And not just, so when they do kills, your whole team gets more points, and also you get those points from your fellows so he actually you use the team you don't really be part of the team don't worry about it. don't be i used to be tapping in the chat go to a go to b go to c it doesn't matter you're a scout kiss cap recap and that's just what you do guys so this game we all did really well we all did amazing got amazing points and so yeah i'm just kind of going around helping to cap and there is mr mortarman and I'm just shooting any explosive things I can do. Boom, he is uh, pretty overwhelmed. There's a little scout. Scouts are a bit tricky one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm getting the hang of that too. Not too bad. So I'm saying hell with that. I'm going to cap C. So when your enemy caps a base, they don't have to be there anymore. They are immediately gone. So all you can do kind of is sneak around the side, wait for them to cap, when they're gone, you sneak right back in, you capture. They usually don't even come back for you. So I'm just going back here and now I'm capping C again. B is capped. Your enemy, your friendly team will want to go to A, your enemy base. That is really bad strategy, but I don't get angry anymore because it doesn't really matter. Um, they will do that. A is not a good thing to capture because that's right near the enemy's spawn. Get it? So when they respawn, they're going to come back and get their base really easy. So as a team, if we got B and C and just fought in the middle without even approaching A, we would have been fine. But, you know, that's okay. So the Mandrake Man, I don't really see a big weakness in the Mandrake. They don't seem to have explodies. You can't really just shoot the cab all day. It does take a long time. So lately, I do end up shooting the Mandrakes themselves. I know it takes a long time, but it works in the end. And other thing about auto cannons, I am not an auto cannon guy, so I don't know. I do have to get used to kind of, they're they're kind of slow bullets, so you gotta lead your shots. 
boom, they can be destroyed. You gotta lead your shots a bit. They don't turn very fast, so you have to kinda aim with your vehicle a little bit. And the, the cooldown is awful. So if you overheat these weapons, you are stuck for a very long time uh, getting back up to snuff. So that's really bad. So try not to overheat. On the other hand, if you try not to overheat, you kind of have to stop, let it cool down. It still takes a very long time to cool down, even though it's not overheated. So really tricky weapons. I find that a whole volley, just kind of clicking until they overheat, is not going to kill much of anything, even a mortal man. So it is worth it to just kind of hold back. Don't waste your entire clip. Cool down a little bit. Kind of run around in circles and then come back. And that is how you can actually kill your enemy scouts because they'll be overheating you trying to overheat you will have a little bit of an edge against that so i'm going back to c now as you can see they're capping c and i don't seem to have a lot of friendlies yet but they are coming so i kind of just hang out for a bit my friendlies are coming they're on the way i don't type anymore i'll just i'll use the x keys to call for help so i'm right behind that guy and uh Right behind him. He's a little bit pinned. Is he going to get me? He might. He might. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope. He's exploded. They just... They're gone so fast. You might get a volley of crickets in your face, but they are just gone so fast. I think the crickets seem to be pretty inaccurate. They do seem to fly all over the place. They're hard to hit unless you're close up and you don't want to be close up in that vehicle. And also, I think the mandrake, there might be more shots, but they're really not accurate. They fall all over the place. Uh, but they are really good for shooting directly in the base. Good for your team, but if you're a Mandrake guy, you're not going to get the points. So here I've got 11, but I'm pretty much capping. So I have 11 over there, but I'm getting a lot more points from the capping than the kills. And I will catch up, don't you worry. So here is Mr. Cricketman in my face. What's going to happen? We're both kind of dead. Nope, it's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. Come on. There you go. Even with as a scout, if I don't have weapons, if I'm running out of wheels, I can still go ahead and cap something. So I'm probably gonna go for A, because what else am I gonna do, right? Got no weapons, nothing to lose. I'll go to A just to mess with him. There's Mr. P Dog, got the same idea. So yeah, but B is also being captured. That's not a good thing. But, you know, I'm gonna die anyway. So I'm thinking, should I go to B? Should I go to A? Eh, I'm gonna go to B. So here we go. <laughs> Got nothing left to use. I'm not going to self-destruct. That's just going to give them points faster. It's not worth it. I'm a scout, I want to cap. I can still cap without weapons. So I'm gonna hang out, distract them for a little bit, kind of lure them away from the base. And now because that's our base, I'm going right back really fast. You just can't hold on to the enemy base so fast. I'm still a scout. <laughs> I'm holding on to that class, man. I ain't moving around. So now while they're doing that, I go right back to B. I'm going to take it. And now we have three bases after I get B. But there's Cricket Man still there. Let's see. Kind of sneaky, sneaky around him. He's gone, right? He capped the base. He's gone. I sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of fun. So uh, now I got 17 over there on the score, which is pretty good. But look, 17, 23, 22, 24, we're doing great. We're doing extremely well. Our teams are doing extremely well. They're all doing a lot of kills, but notice I am helping our team's points. I'm helping their points by giving them the bonus. And here comes Tank Man. Can I get him? He looks pretty eaten out from the front. Um, he's kind of hurting, but I'm going to wait and hit him from the back. That's where ammo boxes are. Uh, he's pretty good at turning around. They sometimes are because, uh, yeah, they have a smaller radius to turn, but his cab is on fire. Uh, I got a shot. I got a shot. Just boom. Not a problem. And I took care of a base by myself in a scout <laughs> against a tank. Not bad. I'm going to hang out here for a bit. So I've capped on to see. That's just what you do. So the enemy is capping C. All I have to do is wait for them to leave, but no, our team is there. So let's see if we can go over there and punish. I think we're pretty much doing okay. And they used to have more people. They had more people than, we, than us too. They had seven versus six. Somehow they dropped out or something. 
Yep, yeah, now we got C. Here's Mr. Mandrake Man over there. We're coming for him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Victory. So that was cool. Look at these points. All right, I forget what these symbols really mean, but look at that, man. These are captures, I think, so I did pretty well. Uh, except for this P dog, he did amazing. So I feel like I'm good with this game mode. When you feel like you're good with a game mode, it's actually fun. And I never knew I would learn to love this game mode. I really do. Unfortunately, I'm a little late for the duck. But next time, man, next time this comes up, I'm going to have it head start. I wasted a lot of days not doing this. Just I didn't just didn't have fun because, you know, your teams you never know what your team is going to do. It was really frustrating not getting the wins. But now that I'm just getting points, Piece of cake, man. So you enjoy this while you can, and I'll see you guys later. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark.